Welcome to my Raptor. So uh, we are in Brian's garage. He's over here to my right. And we are um, looking at this master list. If you guys can see that, we're jumping right into this video. So we are hacking the Ford Raptor. So basically for an American truck vehicle is actually pretty well techy, but there's some stupid things that Ford doesn't let you do right out of the box. Two big ones, right, is the auto fold mirrors. Like when you lock the truck, it auto folds the mirrors in and the auto start stop. So those are the two big ones. And then I'm gonna look through this list here and see if there's anything else. But my gen one, I'll put that video up here. I had a hit and run where somebody smashed into the mirrors. And I actually think those mirrors stuck out a little wider than these. And yeah, you can manually fold in the mirrors on that truck and, and this truck. But one would think with how wide this truck is that you would, you know, make it by default that you can you know if a lincoln can do it why can't right. <laughs> i'm pretty sure a regular lincoln truck isn't as wide as a wrap but um I'm dropping my stuff here we're gonna do the auto folding mirrors just so when you lock the truck they fold in and then uh we're gonna turn off the auto start stop because uh, i don't give two craps about auto start stop if i recall there's three things you have to do on the auto start stop uh the first one is there's a button so if you press the button the little amber off comes on the button i'll show you that in a second then there's a message on the screen then that comes up so you'll have to disable that and then there's also then just disabling the feature itself so those are the two big ones and um how we're doing that here's let me grab you this tool uh, with the switch on it to do certain hack into two different uh, can buses two different networks and then the software which is Forescan. so this is where we're going to be inputting this is going to talk to the truck and then we're going to input our changes into the tables apply it upload it save it and then that should activate everything so this is the button if you disable auto start stop this light lights up that says off i just want this to look like this while the truck's running with it all off so we're going to disable that disable it on the screen there and then disable the feature itself so we're going to plug this in upload everything save a copy of all of our stuff take a backup always take a backup people so we're going to download what the truck currently is stock save that that way if we mess something up we can upload that default file and it's back to normal then we'll make our changes and test it and i'll show you i strongly recommend if you guys are doing this to make sure your sync and everything's up to date so um, again this truck's you guys just saw the video from a couple days ago um, depending when i upload this but this truck's new to me and it was not up to date so i'm gonna go ahead and do current software updates before i jump in here and start messing around with all these kind of system configurations and changes. The other thing we're gonna add is you can see the temp right here, how there's not a temperature number above it. We're gonna add, see how like the fuel has the 326 miles till empty. We're gonna add the actual temperature because I mean the bar is nice if it's in the middle, but I do sometimes wanna check the temperature. So uh, with the software, we're also gonna add that number on there. And then as well as we're going to change some things, home screen layout. So right now to get to heated steering wheel, you have to go, what is it, home and then climb it and you have to go up here and turn that on that's really annoying so we're gonna hopefully go ahead and put that down here somewhere and uh, also put the seat controls you can still activate them down here if you want but just put them all right everything on the home screen all the convenient stuff that we use and again we'll do it all with this software so if the camera wants to focus you can see our toggle switch right there is to the right so we're on hs can we have it plugged in and we're gonna go ahead and can. Yep, HS can, and once we click OK, it should start pulling. We had to change it. If you see here on the screen, if you guys have this error where it says checking Wi-Fi, no ELM found, uh, make sure you go into your settings and just change the connection setting USB. Don't set it to auto, uh, and then cycle the ignition again. But here you can see it's downloading everything. Now, this switch on here, like I had mentioned, see that toggle switch that's down there. Now we need to switch that to the other ms can mode i didn't switch it yet but we'll switch that and then click yes and it should continue then downloading everything on there so let me go ahead and switch this guy right down here switch that so that's switched we'll click yes it should be downloading everything right from the truck now also uh if you're like me 
I'm a Mac user, so Brian had the same issue. Uh, you have to go buy a dedicated Windows machine. God help us. Literally the only reason we have Windows machines is to modify our vehicles and then kick it to the curb. I guess I could run a virtual machine on my Mac and do it, but yeah. I don't want to deal with that. But uh, anyway, so once that's all done downloading, you can save that. That's the profile, right, that we're gonna yep. save. So that's our kind of our default yep. dump of all your kind of system settings and everything on here. So we'll go ahead and save that and then we'll get into the modifying the things. First up is, as I showed you earlier, we're gonna do the uh, steering wheel seat icons on the display. Again, I showed you there, there were the buttons down below, but uh, sometimes it's just convenient to have them up there, especially the steering wheel heater. Um, I don't know why you have to go into like three menu items to activate that. Um, you know, they could have just put a button on the steering wheel too, but that should be pretty quick in pretty simple terms here. I'll, again, we'll show you on the screen, but you're essentially gonna load that module up in this in the sync system and, and from the Forescan software. And that shouldn't have to be a binary or a digital change, right? That's just us going in there and turning on that icon on the home screen. So essentially it's copying that button in the climate controls menu and adding it to our home screen. So you're not really changing any functionality and adding additional functionality because I already have that functionality. I'm just moving uh, and adding where that button is. So I don't have to click through three menu items to get to that, it'll be right on my home screen, which is where I'm 95% of the time. So we're gonna add that and then we'll add the heated and cooled seats buttons on there too. And that's all in the same module for the home screen. Uh, so I'll show you how to load that up and activate that here. I'm gonna go to this icon right here, right there. It's That's gonna be your configuration. So this is where you're gonna edit all the data and, and all the information that you want to change. So we're going to go in there for the steering wheel. We're going to do the APIM module, not the one that says as built. You see right above it, there's an as built format. We're going to the one that has a blank after module configuration. And then we're going to go down here into that play button. We're loading that module, the APIM module. We had to flip the switch back to HS can. And again, the software walks you all through this. We'll click okay. And it should load. That's just a piece about your battery because we've been having the truck on here. So now, we have all these options here and you see climate icons and all that stuff. So this is where we're gonna be in here and we're gonna change these icons to enable it. Should be seat buttons, see how it says none? So we're gonna go into there. I'm gonna go heated and ventilated because I have both. Check. Boom, and look what it also added. Right in there. Perfect. So you got the cooled, heated in there. You guys remember before that was not like that. Next one, we're gonna do the auto folding mirrors. There's cheat sheets and all this. Here's the auto fold Lincoln style mirrors. So this is the module. These are the modules that you have to go in here and you have to change these values. This is where the spreadsheet comes in. For the auto folding mirrors, there's two modules we need to go to. So you see PDM is highlighted. We're gonna go into the as built format and there are two values in here that we're gonna have to change. So you guys see, we gotta switch this, switch it back. It, it tells you, walks you through everything. So we are switched back. Yes, yes, yes. Remember guys, this can mess up your stuff. We're gonna load in here. So this is where on this spreadsheet, you're going to see Auto fold mirrors Lincoln style. And you see right here in PDM, you have two PDMs and these values. You're gonna change this one, the 74103. And you're gonna change the 741201. This is 741301. It's gonna say something other than 84 in the middle. We're gonna change it to 84. And then same with this. So we're gonna to go to 741301. And you see how it's A000. We're going to change that to A84. Like the spreadsheet says, we're going to write that. Program successfully. We're going to change the other one, which is 7411201. Scroll down to the bottom there. 7411201. Zero one says F 
X, X, X. So you're going to put an F in front of that. And right. Yes. And that should go through there. Boom. Now, I'm assuming P stands for passenger, so we're going to go back and we're going to do the DDM, which should be driver side. DDM. Start. Yada yada. Same deal. And we're going to go to... You guys can see DDM. We're gonna go to seven four zero zero three zero one, and it's be the same thing. So it'll be eight four right. Continue, and then we'll find the other module, which is seven four zero. 1201 and we'll add that F right in the front. There's another one right here. You see that double honk honk horn disable? We're going to turn that off. That honk, basically, if you have the key in your pocket and you get out of the truck and you want to leave it running and you go into a convenience store about what two steps or two seconds after you get out of the truck it does this really loud like honk honk and it scares the piss out of you and it's, it's just obnoxious and really really loud uh so we're gonna turn that off so we'll go find that right there bcm switch our tool back switched you're gonna find double horn honk on leaving cabin uh and see how it's enabled there we're just gonna disable that edit selected we're gonna disable that Right. Boom, we added the info right there. You see the temperature, cold and hot, now has the temp right over top of the gauge there. Didn't really film that, but again, I'll have a link to kind of all the this Excel spreadsheet that has all these codes and where to go. Uh, but it's a similar process. You just follow where it tells you using the Forescan app and change all the values. When you're doing the auto start stop, you can see the optional here. The first one turns it off. The second one says optional disable switch. So that disables the switch. And then the third one disables the start stop message in the center, basically of your console. So we're gonna turn all those off. So now if we did this right and I press lock, would you look at that? It works. It works. We have auto folding mirrors. And then once you shut what? the door, so as soon as it unlocks, perfect. That's what we're going for. Sweet. So that's just an example of it, obviously. But horn honking, the auto fold mirrors, the auto start stop in all those three areas. We did temperature. the temperature on the temp gauge. We also did, I didn't show it on camera, we did um, you press and hold unlock or lock. Right. And it drops all four windows from the key fob. Um, and now I have remote start, so yep. that... It's just it's a nice feature to have right away if you yeah. get the auto start stop. It took us like an hour and a half to get the software working. <laughs> My recommendation for this is buy the extended license. 20 but, bucks, save yourself a headache. Right, I'll elaborate when I get back to the garage. Thanks, Brian. If you guys wanna uh, follow him on Instagram, he's got a pretty uh, sick Corvette. Thanks, buddy. You bet. Back at the house, one thing I forgot to mention when we were at Brian's house, uh, you saw it in the video, Add that list of things that we did was we added the uh, steering wheel heat uh, control button right to the home screen there. You guys saw that as well as the AC uh, ventilated seats. I will have everything linked in the description below. The little OBD2 adapter that you need with the uh, MS and HS can um, toggle switch the high speed and regular speed toggle switches, the software, and also a link to the Excel spreadsheet that has all those hacks modifications in there so that's basically i mean i guess you can call this the first modification for the truck modification hacking the ford raptor hacking the software this doesn't just apply to any ford raptor it applies to basically 
any Ford vehicle, I think Sync 1 through Sync 3. The Forescan software will ask you what sync you're using and all that. I um, mean, you can go through and, and really work through it. It's not that difficult of a process. There's countless videos on using the Forescan app uh, and software and all that. So I didn't really get in depth into that, but I did showcase you guys kind of what you're gonna be doing through there. Hopefully that video helps one of you out there if you're interested in doing this. Uh, if you're a Raptor owner and you're just looking to disable some of these features, again, like that auto start stop feature, I don't know why that's on here. I mean, people are not buying these vehicles, especially a Raptor for an auto start stop. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to get some content out there as quick as possible. Uh, and I knew I was gonna fix some of these stupid quirks and software things uh, as quickly as possible, so I figured I'd film it. So, hope you guys like this video. Do me a favor, give this video a like, give it a nice big thumbs up so we can boost it up. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're new here. We'll catch you guys on the next one.